topic. Uh, it depends on my performance, first of all. And yeah, like uh, I cannot uh, right now tell you uh, how it will be, but uh, I'm looking forward like to 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 play as good as I can. And uh, after uh, after this uh, whole summer league and stuff like that, we'll see how it will happen. And uh, like there we there there will be plans when I will come to to the states. Steve Popper, Newsday. Hi, I, I know you played with a lot of NBA players on the national team. Just has that given you an idea of what it takes at this level and, and kind of kind of that you're ready for it? Yeah, like uh, I played not only in the national team, but uh, I had a chance to play with uh, in, in my team in EuroLeague and uh, against opponents, a lot of NBA players. And yeah, the, the level, the level, of course, it's uh, high and, and uh, everything is uh, on a high level. Like not only on the court, but off the court, like how they secure the, their body, how they like uh, uh, their professionalism and stuff like that. So, yeah, I see that uh, in the NBA, like you, everything is uh, much higher. Uh, like there is a lot of more professionalism on and off the court. So I can like see and learn from, from them. And I think, uh, yeah, when I see what I need and what I have, I think I'm ready for that. And yeah, we'll see. Steph Bondi, Daily News. Hey, it, it sounds like in your mind, um, if you perform well in summer league, that there's a chance you could stay stay on even this season. Is that something that's in your mind? Yeah, like uh, there is an, an option, but it will be, how to say, a very, very intriguing thing because I'm into Europe, but uh, like uh, if uh, if something something is go will, will go very well, plans uh, could be changed would be cha uh, would change and yeah, I don't know what to expect, but I'm looking forward for the summer league, and yeah, we'll see how it will go. But uh, right now, uh, the plans is uh, to go to Europe, but uh, you never know in basketball because bas basketball is a sport uh, like uh, where everything can, can happen. Mike Brokenoff, the athletic. Brokenoff, uh, who did you model your game after uh, now and growing up? And, and what do you think um, you kind of, you know, what, what kind of skills do you think you would bring to the Knicks this year, next year, whenever? Um, like in what player I'm looking like yeah what, ah yeah so I'm looking forward like for everyone I uh, I said say the same player so Goran Dragic from uh, Miami Heat I think there is no question why and yeah what what can I bring like uh, from few practices that I had with the uh, Knicks in uh, Vegas so I can bring you know the, this uh, calmness. Uh, like uh, not uh, like uh, controlling the tempo in in point guard position, like bring some uh, I don't know how to say, but uh, like uh, yeah, as I said, uh, called uh, called mind, like no not to go everywhere to to tell my 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 teammates uh, where to go, what do we have to do better, like to be a, a second coach on the court. So that's it, I think. Casey Powell. R Rokas, what, what do you think will be the biggest adjustment you'll need to make at the NBA level? Um, the biggest adjustments uh, I would need, I think, you know, the, the like uh, aggressiveness, uh, contact level, uh, like speed of basketball is uh, higher than in Europe. So like uh, in these few practices, I saw that uh, like uh, where where I can be better uh, because the tempo and stuff like that, uh, I'm not used to that. But, you know, like uh, playing uh, in this uh, system, like uh, uh, I would need uh, some time, but uh, I think I I would improve and, and, and I will improve. And yeah, I think uh, we will see in summer league what uh, what do I need uh, more uh, to be uh, in a top league in the world. But yeah, right now, as I can see, like this, uh, I'm not used to that speed, uh, ag aggressiveness, and uh, like, uh, yeah. Mark Berman, New York Post. 
Uh, hey, Rokas. Uh, do you know Luca Vildoza? Have you met him yet uh, here in Vegas? And uh, do you uh, have a similar game to him? Um, yeah, I know him, but uh, he's still not uh, with us. He's uh, after Olympics. He will come, I think, in a few days. But uh, talking about uh, similarities, um, I think the one of similarities is that we can both play in the, like one and two positions, combo guards. Uh, but you know, uh, like uh, these similarities are not, the, not not so many similarities because we are, our play style is a little bit different. But uh, I know him well because I played him the season a few times. So yeah, it's it will be nice to to be in a one team with him. Bondi. Uh, Rogers, what what um what made you think that this is the time for you to you know enter the draft and and make the jump to the NBA? Why why is this the time for you now? Um, you know, like this this season was different for me because I I really felt what Euroleague is, what the what is uh, like to be important player in the Euroleague Euro team. So I think uh, that was the point because I had a chance uh, to to go to draft uh, like uh, on November. But uh, with agents, uh, I could discuss that and I would draw that. So, and for that, uh, maybe I need uh, like, uh, to end the season to show my, everything I got and then to, to, to try. So I, I thought, you know, I, I cannot uh, like redraw a second time because it would be like, I don't know, like uh, not so good for me. And yeah, I, do, I believed in me and uh, I think uh, we made a great decision with my agent. And yeah, we got what uh, we got. Thank you, Rokas.